Hey everybody, uh, Joe here. Uh, just a, a quick conversation before I really get into rebuilding this Jeep. And basically that's, uh, you know, you should, do, you should do the things that make you a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I've never rebuilt a Jeep before. I've never taken apart a motor, taken out a transmission before. Uh, this is my first time and you know, when I was deciding to do it, it was, it was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. I think for the first few weeks before I really decided on it, I was having a hard time sleeping. Uh, you know, what if I never get the Jeep back together? What if I can't get it out of the driveway? But I think that uh, the learning experience will be worth it. And um, no matter what, even if I can't get it out of the driveway, you know, I'll definitely learn something. Uh, I'll definitely feel better about myself. And I figure, you know, I'll just keep working on this damn thing until I figure it out. So a perfect example is welding. Uh, I bought a welder because I'd like to do a lot of custom fabrication to the Jeep once it's fully apart. Uh, I'm not very good at welding. I think I've welded once before in my life. I didn't have any sheet metal yesterday and I decided, hey, uh, let me try to weld something. So here I am searching for stuff around the house. This was probably a pretty stupid idea, but uh, I found one of my wife's little knickknacks on the mantle and I decided to use this. Uh, little candle lantern. Well, it turns out um, this is very thin. A uh, little metal right here. This is tin, but it's pretty thin. You can't weld this. Just burns holes right through this. But another exciting lesson I learned was while burning holes through my wife's lantern that I had to hide in the trash can, uh, <clears throat> you want to make sure you're welding on really a table that doesn't have uh, any type of carpet, uh, more of a metal table, probably outside if you can. And then when you're done, you want to make sure that you don't burn any holes uh, or light your garage on fire. So I've learned several lessons uh, on yesterday's welding project. Um, today I'm actually going to Home Depot, leaving here shortly to get some sheet metal, which I will be practicing my welds today. Um, I'll take some videos of that. I'll show that online, but uh, you know, you see what I'm saying? Uh, you know, everything's an experience, whether it's good or bad. I think it just makes you uh, a better, well-versed person in the end. Also, it makes you feel good about yourself, whether you mess something up or not. Um, you know, I know more today than I did yesterday. So everyone who has an idea or wants to do something, uh, you know, try to put those fears aside and go get it.